Hey, hey everyone, my name is Rachel Hall. I'm a first grade teacher who helps other teachers set up and maintain their literacy stations in their classroom. And in this video, you're going to learn how to turn a PowerPoint presentation into a movie. That's right, you can turn it into an actual movie. It's not just for slides. So you can use this for any instructional video that you'd like to make for your students. For this purpose, I'm gonna show you how to turn an anchor chart into a video. And you might wanna do this so you can add it to Google Slides, um, to your Seesaw account. Um, I have more Google Slides and Seesaw links below if you wanna check out those videos. So once you learn this technique, it's actually easy to make these videos. And I find that if I make several of them at once and do that batch working, I save a lot of time and energy. And the best part is once I have them completed, I have them forever. So you can add these videos to your literacy station for years to come. I'm going to assume you know the basics of PowerPoint, basically adding in an image or some text. If not, and you need a tutorial, I've linked a pretty good beginning uh, PowerPoint tutorial down below and you can check that out. And I'm also going to show you like a little design uh, tips here and there, but you're going to need to know those basics to make your, um, your slides in PowerPoint. Now if at any time I go too fast, please pause the video and um, and practice and, and then start it again when you're ready. So I've made some very simple slides for this tutorial. What you'll need to do is make the slides how you want to make them. What I'll show you today is how to add an audio and it transform it all into a video. Now the first thing you'll want to do is decide what you want to add to your movie. And you have lots of options. You can make slides with your reading skill information and you can add an audio of you narrating it right into your slides. But guess what? You can also add a video. What? So you, if you've taped a read aloud or a mini lesson, you can add it right into your presentation and it will automatically play. So that's so, so cool. So here's how to do it. I'm going to add, let me share my screen here. Okay, here is my presentation. When you open up PowerPoint, you will see you have your default text boxes. We're going to just get rid of those, click on them and delete them. I'm going to show you that part in a little bit. I have a video, a very simple video that I made. So maybe it was a read aloud that you did with your kiddos, or maybe it was, um, you introducing um, a mini lesson of some sort. I just made a quick silly little video right here and I'm gonna put it right on there. All I need to do is drag and drop it right here. I can resize it if I want to. Give it a second to work. I can resize it if I wanna add something else to this slide. But remember, I can add as many slides as I want to in my movie. So I may not wanna add anything else in here. So I'm gonna resize it and make it as big as I can. Now I'll add another slide. Here's a little uh, time saving hack for you. If you click on that down arrow, you can click on blank instead of clicking on the new slide and then you have to delete those um, uh, text boxes. And then from here, I'm just gonna make a couple. So I'll hit Control D and it will duplicate as many as I want. All right, now I'm going to add in a slide. This was a main idea anchor chart that I have. I'm gonna add it right there. Um, I've already made it on PowerPoint and I had it saved, so I just plopped it right back in there. Um, and But otherwise I would use um, an image here that I made plus text um, and bold and all just the text features that you make in PowerPoint. So I have that, but what I wanna show you is how to add audio to my slide. So I will click on insert, audio, and record audio. If I had a file already, I could click and add it here, but I'm gonna click on record audio. When I click on this, now you'll see it is recording. I can see how long it is recording, and that's important because that's gonna be the length of this slide in my movie. You can also stop it and replay it. If I stop and I, um, and I want to re-record it, I can click on the uh, record button again, but I'm, I think I like it, and I'm going to click on insert. Now you'll notice it'll be right here in the middle, and you can leave it if you want the kids to click on something, but right now our 
video is going to automatically play it. So it doesn't need to be in the middle. I'm going to move it way down here and I can even resize it to almost make it smaller and it'll go away. So now I have my first slide, which is my video, and it will, um, it will automatically play when we turn this into a movie. My second slide has my anchor chart with my narration on it. So think about what you want to make your video. Do you want to do a read aloud first, or do you want to do a mini lesson, and then maybe an anchor chart? Um, and then the beauty of this is that you can add anything you want to it, and it will automatically play in a movie. So, but let me show you the magic part. You have to save it as a movie. So I have a Mac, so mine might look a little different, but you click on File and Export. Now you're always going to want to check where it's going to because I can never find my, uh, my files after I've saved them. And so I'll go looking for them and I cannot find it. So before you do anything else, make sure you know where it's going. Mine's just going to my desktop. Now, find file format. You must turn it into an MOV file. And that will be your movie. I don't even really need to um, move any of my settings because I've already put my um, audio in and that's gonna determine the length of my movie. And I click on export. So we'll go right to the desktop. I have it right here. When you click on the movie, it should be able to play. So let's see how it turned out. There I am weaving and it goes straight into now you'll the see next it is slide. Recording. I can see how long it is recording and that Okay, so now you have made a video right out of PowerPoint. Now you can share this in Google Classroom and even put the whole video into your Seesaw activities for your students. If you do find yourself short on time, all of the anchor charts that I have are available on literacystations.com and you can go check them out. I've put the link below. So head down there while you're checking that out. Leave me a comment and see how that's worked for you. And um, don't forget to click on like and subscribe so you're up, updated on any new videos that I add about literacy stations. Have a good one.